What's new for winter at Zara? I have two pair of shoes that I'm gonna feature in this video. So I wanted to go ahead and show them to you. This is the first pair. Just a good pair of pointed high heels with the buckle. I think these are just the ultimate heels to wear for that look with the long jeans that I am crazy about now. All these years after getting the jeans that show your leg, now I want the ones that are so long, but that's the way it goes, isn't it? But these, see how it looks so pretty? The point that will be coming out of the jeans with those buckles and look at the texture on the shoe. Really nice, pretty comfortable. I haven't worn these like out. I've only used them to try some of these outfits on, but I think it's like a three and a half inch heel. So not quite a four inch heel, which I, I kind of dodge the four inch heels these days. I like a three or like a three and a half or something like that. So I think these are just magnificent and I think they're just so cool. So model off duty, that little bit of Kate Moss, or just a little bit of edge, and I love it. The next ones I got were quite a gamble, but I'm so glad I did it. These are some little sock booties, and they're the stretch. Now, when I went to put these on yesterday, I told myself, why did I get these? I like boots with a zipper, I do. I'm not into struggling to put my shoes on, but they slid right on. They're comfortable and they have this really cool open toe, a good size heel. I would say that's about a three inch heel, maybe three and a quarter, and just a lot of look for a boot. Very high end looking. And now let's get on to the items that I chose. I did use a little bit of Pinterest inspiration on a few of them. And then a few more, I just kind of put together with items that I already know and love and you guys have seen before. So a lot of these shoes and bags are from my wardrobe, but I thought it would be fun to kind of style each piece instead of just showing it to you or putting it all together. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is what I'm wearing. And it's this really cool designer inspired blazer that has the built in sweatshirt. Now I chose to not wear anything under it. I'm just wearing it as if the sweatshirt is my bottom layer, but it also looks really good with like a tank or a cami. I think it would look really good. If I'd have thought of this, I would have done it with like a silky cami underneath it to have that contrast of the textures. And then I have on the first pair of jeans and these are the high rise wide leg. I've got them on today with my new Ugg Cosettas in the color goat. I love it. Like this is my go-to every day run out type of look. But I did try these jeans on with one of my favorite white shirts. I thought this looked really good with the pumps for that look that I was telling you about where you have the long jeans with the pump sticking out at the bottom. I used a Pinterest picture to get this inspired look. I think that you will love it. So these jeans, I love them. They're high waisted. Let me show you here. Zipper, just perfect. My next piece is these gray wide leg trousers. I like these, but these are not my star piece of the haul. I think I like the Everlane and the Aritzia trousers a little bit better than these. I like them, but they were almost too wide for me. I think they would look good in the summer with flip-flops. That's when I really like a good big wide leg, but I think the color is really pretty. I don't regret trying them, but this wouldn't be the piece I would recommend out of the whole haul. I did pair it with this t-shirt that I got from Mother, just a good gray tee. And then I added this moto jacket from All Saints. This is the one that I got last year and it has the gold hardware. Yeah, even an oversized blazer would look really good with that. But I do like the black with all of that gray. This next piece is probably my favorite. <laughs> and you'll see why it is just so cool. Now I would wear this with an oversized blazer, a faux fur, 
something. It's a little, you know, risque. I did try to wear it with just like a little bralette and it just took away all of the appeal because it's a jumpsuit that looks like a cami tucked into a pair of pants like this. And I did get the medium. I could have worn the small, absolutely could have worn the small, but I'm always worried about the chest area. But the medium seemed to work fine. The only negative with this is it's loud. It's one of those nylon windbreakery loud pieces. So if any of you have any tips that you know can help that because i would really love to wear this you know maybe on an upcoming trip or something but i don't want to announce my entrance or my departure every time so if you have any tips i was thinking wow i just saw that this is a totally different texture this is a really really cool piece i love it it's just like right up my alley it makes me crave spring so bad but i do think it's loud so let me know what you think about that is that a deal breaker the next piece is this little mini black dress with long sleeves and it is nice. If you're looking for just a good, almost like closet staple, capsule wardrobe type piece, this would be a good one. It is extremely thick and nice and stretchy and I think it looks really good with tights. The ones I had I think are too opaque. I think it would look good with a pair of tights with a design and heels or boots. That is what I plan on doing. I'm going to order some of those really cool tights, maybe some, I'll see what Amazon has. So we don't, I don't want to spend a lot of money because I will mess them up. So I'll check and see what's good out there, but think about the possibilities with this dress all of your different jewelry, all of the different jackets. You could even put a blazer with it, a faux fur. It is a good heavyweight dress. I really think it would look good under a trench coat too. It's just can go any style. It reminds me of something like from Everlane or Aritzia or Cos. It's got that real substantial quality and I just think it's so versatile. So I'm definitely keeping this and I did get the size medium. Okay, these right up my alley. You know, there's never been a pair of sweatpants that I don't like. I like them all. I like the ones with elastic. I like the cropped ones. I just love sweatpants. I love to style sweatpants with a blazer. I tried this and it just, I didn't like it. I just didn't like the two looks together, but I do like these a lot and they come in several colors. These are the kind of pants I like to wear with a fitted tank top or bodysuit, or if you prefer just a good white tee, this is my AYR. I think it's the U tee. I also love the super cool. That's probably my favorite tee. And then one of my favorite tank tops is the AYR Sexy Flexi. So these two I paired with this jacket. And this will be one of my most worn pieces of a lifetime because I love this thing. When I first got it, it's the Anina Bing Quinn blazer. It's so much more than a blazer. It's a coat. It's like a blazer coat. It's made from wool and cashmere. There is a slight shoulder pad. It's not lined. It is so warm. It's like perfect if you're like me and you don't want a big heavy coat, but you kind of want that look, but you don't want one too long and you love oversized blazers and all of those things you want to layer. This is perfection. It is expensive, I know, but I've never seen anything like it. It is just, I am going to wear it. I'm gonna get my cost per wear for sure. But these, this little outfit, right up my alley. Here we go. I love these kinds of pants and they're on trend. They're everywhere from the really highest end to Zara. These are a little different. The other ones I have my cool grandpa pants, which by the way, when I cleaned out my closet, I could not get rid of them. I had them in the giveaway pile, I couldn't do it. I really like these like for an airport outfit 
something when you want to look a little bit more stylish and elevated, but you still want to be very comfy, that is when I like something like this. I mean, I, I like a trouser too, but this just adds a little bit of something. These just pull right on and they're made to look like you have maybe like a little satin boxer or something underneath. I got the pinstripe. Let's see what size I got. I think I got small, but they are, yeah, I did. They're still pretty good size. So I would say go to your smaller size. And then today I just paired it with one of my classics. I had this in my closet. These will always be with me. As long as they make them, I will keep buying the Zara halter bodysuits. They are just a wonderful piece to have. Even if you don't plan on wearing it with, you know, nothing over it, it's a good layering piece. Okay, this black pair, I've already worn and I've already featured on my Instagram. Oh my gosh, they are so nice. These actually zip up the side and they're a little bit dressier, you can tell. These are definitely my favorites, but I really like all of them for something different. I mean, what can I say? It's just bringing everything I love together. And let's see what size I got on these. I got a small, so comfortable, very, very substantial pockets. These are the things too that we can wear with our sneakers and really look nice. You could put a sweatshirt on with this, give it a front tuck. There are so many options. This would be a fun piece just to add to your closet, but I would, I hate to say size down. Like I always say, go to your smaller size. Okay, you know my motto, when you find something you like, buy it in every color. I've always done that, even before YouTube, especially before YouTube. When I had small children, I would hit TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Old Navy, Gap, all of those places. I would find good little skirts and dresses, buy them in every color. That way, every day, I liked what I was wearing. But you know, when you're a mom of little ones, you need to be fast. You don't need to sit in your closet and think about what to put together. So that's why I've always really been into dresses and skirts. One year I had, I think they were these little floral like circle skirts from Old Navy and they were silky. I loved them. And I think I had three different prints, like a blue, a peach, and I can't remember the other color. It might have even been a solid black. And I would just wear them with white tank tops every day and my little sketcher high heel sandals or something like that. And I felt good every day, but I was comfortable and it was easy. So you know how I feel about that. I like to look good, to feel comfortable, and I like it to be easy. And that's how these are. I love the color, a true grandpa pant color for sure. And I was thinking, what can I put these with that would be different? And I've remembered this Anina Bing t-shirt that I will most likely cut because I will wear it more. I just will. I'll probably cut those sleeves to be a little bit more of a cap sleeve, but I wanted to show it to you like this now in its original form. And I thought just adding this denim in the mix would be something good, and it was. First, I added a leopard faux fur, and that didn't look bad. Like if I wanted to wear that, I would, but it didn't create the look I was looking for. I kind of liked this denim put with this color combination. I just thought it was really pretty. And I know we all have a denim jacket in our closet. This one is one from Citizens of Humanity. It's a little oversized. I got the large. I bought this at a local boutique, Oliver, years and years ago, and I love it. Okay, this little dress broke my heart. This is what I wanted to wear today. I mean, I had it in my head. I put my makeup on, went to go put this dress on, and it is tight. And I did size up to the medium. And I had already taken the tags off. I mean, this was mine. I was wearing it. And I was even gonna wear this over it just to see how it looked. And it's too small. So luckily, my daughter Brooke will be able to wear it. And I think it will look really good on her. She's actually gonna like it but I might even order the large because I really wanted this. I think this is a valuable little dress and I think it would look so good with a blazer, with a f everything, anything. I think it's gonna look really good when you contrast the polo dress look 
with something kind of glamorous. I think that's what's going to be your most interesting. But if you don't want to do that, put a cardigan, like a heavyweight cardigan over it in a color, or you know me, I'd love a black one over this. It's just a nice dress. And I think that it's very versatile. So get this and size up too. <laughs> and then my last piece is this little cottony, I think they call it a sweat, no, do they call it a sweater? It's basically, it's not a sweatshirt, it's not a sweater. It is just a little, kind of a mock neck, a little top. It's a little bit thicker than your average top. It's ribbed, and I just thought this might be a great layering piece to wear under anything, moto, sport jacket, you know, to walk, anything. I just kind of liked it, and it does come in a couple of colors, and I believe it comes with a matching pair of pants. As you know, we're kind of in between seasons. I didn't want to buy anything on the sale section of Zara because, oh my gosh, as soon as you start shopping, it's like poof. All your stuff is gone by the time you get to the cart. So none of this is from the clearance, so I hope that a lot of it is still there. And I will be checking, checking, checking to see what comes in. I cannot wait for the spring stuff to come in. So I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching my wolf ring, my ideal necklace, the necklace that my parents got me for Christmas, the Miranda Fry earrings, and that is it. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.